Okay, well, so it's nice of us to be out of the room and actually having a bit of a conversation today. What we're down here today is to speak about your 200th cap, which hopefully you'll be getting pretty soon. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? <laughs> I don't know, I've not had it yet, but um, if, it, if it's to happen this week or next week, that'd be great. I'd be very proud. You've been around for a while now. There's been quite a long time in between. We've this had is the most awkward conversation <laughs> ever. <laughs> Carry on, sorry, 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 Joel. I know, I'm trying as You're well. doing well, you're doing really well. So you've been playing for a while now. Who was your first game against and what do you remember? My first game was against Czech Republic in Inverness in 1998, I think. And it was the penultimate game of the qualifying group for the World Cup. It was like A and B divisions, so we were in the B division, had to win the group to get up to A to actually have a chance at at qualifying to the proper tournament and we needed to beat the Czech Republic and we drew 1-1 one, one. I remember them celebrating like crazy and we had like Jim Fleeting as a manager and stuff like that because we had to go and beat Lithuania in the final game 17-0 which we actually did so that was like the second cap was making history with a 17-0 one at Scotston which was phenomenal but yeah I can remember my first cap and just I think my dad was in the stand I always, when I go and speak to kids, show them the pictures that he took, which are horrendous. Because you he have the nice strips on. Oh, we've got them the, the full body kit. <laughs> <laughs> Stylish at the time. I think I had, like, Jim Layton's top on or something. I think you did as well. I've still got it. It's like... Well, sure, we came to your house that night and we I had, like, yeah, tried I them on. Strip. We had, like, every Scotland strip. I did that. One yeah. underneath the, the other, and I think that was probably the biggest one, so that was the last one on. The catwalk. Yeah. Yeah, the strip catwalk. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like full, full ankle. Yeah. And it's still, I've still got it, so, but it's all moth eaten because my mum put it in uh, one of her sheds or something. <laughs> Didn't think to put it in anything. No. Just the green. So it's, it's the, what's it, the green and the blue one? Nice. Yeah. Still I, suits I, you to this I day. had to throw the shorts out. I got in trouble because I was told I was a hoarder. Well, some things never change. I'm um, sure that would have come back in fashion as well. <laughs> <laughs> What's been your favourite game to take part in? <sighs> favourite game to take part in? Well, that second cap sounded like a bit of a cracker. Aye, I didn't do much though. Something. <laughs> 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 I didn't do much action. I'm All right then. So, I don't know here if I'm talking just favourite game for you or the best game as a squad. I don't know. Have your pick. You've been there for most of them. What yeah. would you say was the best game? So you can't turn the questions. No, but I'm just I'm not turning them around. Well, Cause like I always love when we play America. That's like my favourite trips. I favourite trips, but, but remember I'm at the other end of that. We always lose yeah. to America, so it was never that much fun. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I like I like when we play Germany and stuff like that because it's an awesome crowd and experience and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I like when we've beaten England. That's been fun. Although I've only played one of them, I think Shannon played the other two. Did she? Aye. Cyclist well, Cup. They are, that might be your favourite. Yeah. I loved, I actually loved when we played Spain because until the last minute. Yeah. Because we played so well and it was phenomenal. It was such a, remember that feeling before oh, they the scored ball. with the last kick oh, of the ball? the excitement. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? <laughs> until that last minute. Um, oh, there's been a few. There's, there? there's been a few. That last game against Iceland, I liked because... Mm. We'd already qualified, so we played with a bit more freedom, and I think we were missing a couple of players as well. And we went to Iceland, and now playing in Iceland, understanding how proud they are as a nation, it's not an easy place to go and, and get a victory in what I thought was horrific weather, but now know is summertime. <laughs> yeah. How is Iceland? It's nice, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful country. Good. When we complain about the weather here, I think we're just pansies in comparison to them, because it changes every minute, let alone every day. But it's... Lovely people. We've got a lot of similarities with them in terms of being a small nation with big aspirations. Well, I've taken it all the way back. Like, when, when did you start playing football and what made you get into it? I can't remember when I started playing football. Probably, you can't, probably can't remember either. I just Not remember really. always playing football. And I remember um, I lived in the country and I had two brothers and the next door neighbours were boys as well. So I had to do whatever they did if I wanted to play. And then most of the time it was playing football. And I just remember going to school, playing football, and just always playing football until, um, with the boys until I was like 12. And then I wasn't allowed to anymore because it was against the rules. And then I ended up playing my first ever 
proper team was a team called GSC St Johnston, who are now Genefield Swiss, I think. Then on the North Inch, mm -hmm. and that was it. Excellent. That's all just went from there. So really, you've played your first cap, your second cap, Cracker. And cracker, no. <laughs> so do, do you remember getting to 100 caps and how you felt then? Uh, um, it was against Russia at the Cypress Cup. Was it? Oh, yeah, was I think it was like Russia. one of Rachel Corsi's first caps. I mean, she did that goal in clearance, diving header off the line. Oh, yeah. That was that game, 3-2 we won. Oh. It was the first time we beat Russia in... In a long time, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? So that was my 100th cap. How have you kept going for all this time? Like, 19 uh, years of football yeah. at the top level? I think it's a mixture of stubbornness. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> You're not disagreeing with that. Nope. Adaptability. Um, understanding that I have to keep developing and changing. Never know when I'm really beat. And that's probably a good thing to have. But also being able to understand where I need to get better and accepting that and, and working on that. Because if you don't do that, then you're never going to develop and other people just come in and take over. Yeah. Still developing to this age? Yeah, I am. Still hate it when I can't do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what's, what's going to be next for you? When today? Tomorrow? When? Well, the future. The future, yeah. What's it, what's it going to hold for Gemma Faye? I don't know. We were just talking about this before I even knew you were doing this. Mm. I think. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you've had your actor. You've had act your... <laughs> actor? You've been your pundit. You've been on the radio. On the wireless. Aye. You've been a goalkeeper for this long. Uh-huh. So, you've got a lot to choose from, don't you? I do. I don't know. Don't know. I don't know. Up in the air. We'll see what happens. Yeah. We'd like to still see you in a strip. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> We've qualified for the Euros. Uh -huh. How does it feel? And how do you think that preparation's going just now? The past six months since we've qualified, around about that, six, seven, eight, I don't know. We've kind of worked really, really hard as individuals and as a team, and we've had our ups and downs, all of us. If you asked me maybe six months ago if I was even going to be here today, after what happened in Cyprus, I think that just about everybody thought no. So personally, it's, it's been one hell of a journey to hear, so I'm just looking to enjoy whatever's coming over the next six weeks, six to eight weeks. And I think that's the, the attitude of the team. I think there's, it's not been plain sailing by any stretch of the imagination this kind of past eight months. So I think by the time we get there, we'll just be happy to go out and just enjoy it. And we're going to enjoy working hard. We're going to enjoy running till every muscle in our body hurts. <laughs> And we're going to enjoy all that because we've been doing it all anyway, just not with the badge on, playing in front of that crowd in a tournament. Doing all the dirty work. Doing all the dirty work. So now it's time to enjoy it. Can't wait for you to get your 200th cap. Couldn't happen to a better person.